Okay, hello and welcome to this tutorial on frame relay congestion control. By now we have a pretty good sense of how frame relay works. And if you've watched the frame relay tutorials in succession, we're now at a point where we need to know how frame relay optimizes itself. And this leads us to congestion control. Earlier we mentioned the committed information rate, the CIR, and that's just the amount of bandwidth that a virtual circuit is allotted. I also mentioned that your traffic still might get to the destination even if the CIR is exceeded for a particular virtual circuit. It could also get dropped, but if it gets through, it's one of the great perks of Frame Relay that you get more than what you're paying for. Now, whether or not this happens depends on the congestion levels of the Frame Relay provider network. And so we're going to take a look at how Frame Relay deals with congestion. And in doing so, it optimizes how packets are sent across the network. Okay, here is our familiar Frame Relay network. And let's take a look at the access link and the virtual circuit. So an access link can be a serial connection, and oftentimes it will have a lot more bandwidth or a lot higher clock rate than the virtual circuits that run over it. So for instance, router A's access link could be a T1, which is about 1.5 megabits per second. However, the virtual circuit between router A and router C might be a lot less than that. It could be something like 256 kilobits per second. Now, that means your, your router can send a lot more traffic into the frame relay network than the virtual circuits can handle. So it's almost like you're, you have a very large river and then it's being funneled into a very smaller river. It could cause problems. It can easily overwhelm that virtual circuit. So now with frame relay, there are some things we can do to address that. And specifically, the routers and the frame relay switches can kind of talk to each other in a rather interesting way to notify each other of when congestion occurs. Now, there are two ways this is done. In the very beginning, the first tutorial on the frame, la frame relay components, we talked about what's inside the header. And we mentioned the DELSI, and we've talked about that. There were three other things we talked about, and all of those have to deal with congestion control. So let's talk about two of those right now. The first one is called the FECN, or the Forward Explicit Congestion Notification. This simply tells the destination that a frame just that was just delivered traversed a congested virtual circuit. So for example, router A sends a frame to router C, and about halfway through, it experiences congestion on that virtual circuit. Well, this frame relay switch here, before it delivers that frame to router C, it will go in there and it will change one of the bits, the FECN bit, inside the header. And so when router C receives the frame, it's going to notice that this bit has been set. So it's going to be now aware that this frame just went through some congested portions on its virtual circuit. Now, the other way to notify a router of congestion is the backward explicit congestion notification, the BECN. And the difference here is this tells the source of who sent the frame that the frame experienced some congestion when it was sent across the network. So we just saw router A send a frame to router C. Well, let's say router C sends a frame back to router A. Somewhere along the path, one of the frame relay switches can go into the header and change the BECN bit and then send the frame and let it continue on to router A. When router A receives it, it would see that that bit has been set and it would then know that somewhere along the virtual circuit that a packet it once sent over to router C experience some congestion. So the whole point is to notify the routers that congestion can happen or is happening and for them to adjust accordingly to slow down a bit, to stop overwhelming the virtual circuit. Okay, so those are two uh, proactive ways that a router or a frame relay switch can notify other devices on the network that congestion is happening. Now there's another way that routers can deal with congestion. And this leads us to the DE bit, or the discard eligibility bit. And this is the third one that we identified in the frame relay header. So a router will know that if 
a particular virtual circuit is congested and we try to exceed the bandwidth that the frame relay provider could drop those packets. That's just a fact of life on a frame relay network. Well, the router can at least attempt to identify which traffic should be discarded first um, when that happens. So this is done by setting the discard eligibility bit, the DE bit, in the frame relay header. So if router A is sending a lot of traffic to router C and it fills up the bandwidth on the virtual circuit, it can start to set the DE bit on some of the less important traffic that it's sending over to router C. So if the frame relay network starts to drop traffic, it will drop traffic first that has the discard eligibility bit set. So that way we have a choice. We can say, all right, we're, we're pretty sure or there's a good chance we're going to fill up our bandwidth. Let's at least choose which traffic gets dropped first, our less important traffic. So that way we have a little bit of control um, in dealing with the fact that we might drop some packets. It's just kind of dealing with the fact of life on the frame relay network. Okay, so let's summarize what we covered. We talked about the forward explicit congestion notification, and that simply tells the destination that a frame that just arrived experienced some congestion on the virtual circuit. Then we talked about the backwards explicit congestion notification, and that simply tells the sender of the frame, who sourced it, that some of your frames are experiencing congestion later on down the virtual circuit. Both of these are meant to inform the routers in hopes that they will react and start slowing down a little bit to help ease the congestion. Now both routers and frame relay switches can set these bits so everyone can participate in notifying everyone else about congestion. And then finally we talked about the DE bit or the discard eligibility bit. And here the router can go ahead and mark which packets, which frames should be dropped first if congestion occurs. That way you can let your, your uh, least important traffic get dropped first in hopes that your most important stuff is allowed through. Okay, so that's it. Those are the frame relay congestion controls. Thanks for watching.